all right guys welcome back to another video on the gamers edition channel how are you guys doing and in this video i can't be bothered with this stuff anymore right we're fixing this shit today right now okay let's go Okay, a lot of you lot might be a bit confused what I'm on about, so I'm just going to explain what the hell has been going on in 15 seconds, starting now. I've not been able to update my Windows license before, and I didn't know why. My PC became very laggy, and it was pretty much unusable in some scenarios. And it was only recently until they said this, your device is missing some important security and quality fixes, basically meaning that I'm missing some Windows files, or they're corrupted. And the final straw came when my SSD completely tanked performance, and I couldn't play Minecraft anymore. For some reason, it wouldn't load, so I had to uninstall it, and now it wouldn't even let me reinstall. Here's some of that tanking performance, as you can see. It just won't even load. So I finally bought a new SSD. And we're gonna use this as my C drive. And I was also given another computer to mess around with that had a one terabyte hard drive. So we're gonna use it for additional storage. Okay, now that that's over, I can put these two units aside and talk about what I've actually done because uh, as you can see, my setup looks a little bit different and it just crashed. So uh, I'm gonna talk about this stuff in 15 seconds again, let's go. I was running out of IO on my motherboard, so I got a hub that has four USB Type-A slots, one Type-C for charging and also power, micro SD card, SD card reader normal, HDMI 2.0 up, 4K, 30Hz I think, and Ethernet. I also got this Tornado TC777 mic that I used for the voiceover video that I recently posted that you should go check out. I got a phone stand, so now my phone isn't just on the ground. Dirty. And I can't really see what it's on my phone half the time. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention this. I recently updated my uh, Asus Harmony crate and uh, the fan stuff stopped working and my subscription has expired. And the fan control completely stopped working on AI Suite 3. So that basically, yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing this. I got timestamps in the video so you can skip to the part that concerns you the most. And uh, this is gonna be basically a full PC makeover because this has to be done. It's been five months waiting. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shut this thing down. If it can even shut down at this point, I don't even know. Great news, it managed to. So we're gonna turn off the power and disassemble this. Okay, let me explain what we're doing because uh, this is getting a bit confusing. So, we're going to be adding this WD Blue uh, M.2 500GB that is going to be very nice for our C drive and for additional storage you're going to have another 1TB hard drive that I just dropped post game trying to put these two stacking on top of each other. Uh, that's not very good and uh, yeah, it was making a bit of a rattling sound so I don't even know if this is going to last. But uh, regardless, we're going to put them in. I already have a one terabyte hard drive and a two uh, additional, I think like altogether like 400 gigabyte SSD. But I've never had an M.2. So uh, this is going to be a brand new experience really to see that read and write speed of about that much. That is going to be very nice. I'm also going to be cleaning out this PC because it's really dusty. I know I did it recently, kind of, upload video wise, but I mean, I didn't really touch the radiator at all and the power supply. I'm pretty sure that thing has like a whole cake full of dust in it. Um, yeah, I'm going to slap the camera for a transition because this is going to take a while. And that's what it looks like now. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, this looks. It's been a long time since I've. Seen it like this, but um, yeah, here is what it looks like inside. Okay, I know the lighting is terrible, don't bully me for it. And the cable management is, of course, horrible, but we have an issue. So, to access the hard drive, well, it's at the back. To access the hard drive, we need to actually take out the power supply because to screw it in, it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. I know I can use like an Allen wrench or something like that, but it's just not ideal, it, it, it's really hard to. And also, to the screws at the front, and you can't really fit them through this fan. So we need to take out the fan, but to take out the fan, we need to take out the radiator. So we basically need to disassemble the whole thing except the motherboard. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to do that, maybe in a quick time lapse, maybe. But um, all right, let's just get right into it. Okay, now this radiator might fall after I undo the screw. So we're just going to see. Put my hand on the back, just in case. Oh, the bottom, actually. Oh, okay, it's off. Now, will it? No, gosh dang it. More time lapse. Okay, it's out. That's good. Oh no, and the fan's coming out too. Oh, one's out. Oh no. Give me this in shot. It is. Alright, it's out, and that is one dusty boy flipping neck. Okay, I finally got it out, and this thing is completely caked in dust. I don't even know if it's here. Oh my gosh, there are fans on the back for a push and pull configuration that I have. I don't really have any pressurized air. Alright, let's see if I can blow one in. Oh 
Okay, yeah, you can't see that on camera, but flipping egg, there's a lot of dust. <laughs> oh, there's so much on my desk mat right now, flipping egg. I'm just gonna leave that there. Now you see, this side doesn't look nearly as bad as this side. What the f- Oh my days. Okay, um, this is gonna take way too long, so we're gonna have to cut straight to a time lapse. Let's go. Okay, I've undone some of the cables, like I've uh, taken out the power supply cables, out of these extensions. And now I think we should take out the power supply, it's probably going to drag out this fan up too, you know. But it shouldn't be anything that should break it. Okay, alright. I'm also really interested to see how dusty the fan is at the bottom. Moment of truth. Okay, that's actually not as bad as I thought it'd be, you know. I thought it'd be a lot more worse, but we need to untangle this for now or else we can't really get much further than this. Uh, Oh, that was easy. Get the out of here. Come on. And I think you're free. Yes, nice. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, that's the fan hub. Gosh dang it. Uh, yep. Okay, nice. And it should be out. Power supply. Now, let's just put the power supply on this new chair that I just built. Oh, yeah. Very clever, Zaza. But anyway, yeah. This, by the way, this, uh, this power supply is an Aerocool 600 watt power supply. That's 8 plus bronze. Uh, yeah, it's actually really good and no issues with it whatsoever. Got these uh, black flat cables, very good. And you know what? Yeah, this doesn't really need much cleaning, although we can dust this off really quick. So I'm just gonna get my brush, brush quiet, and just art. Oh, oh no, oh, that's gone over my chair. Oh, wait, no, the, the wind, my window's open, so it's good. It's just blowing all that way. It's good. We're done. Oh my gosh, whoa, that's so much more than it should have been before. Oh, eh. oh I need flipping. Eh, I'm gonna, I've got asthma. Now, oh, you can see some of the dust still settling. Oh, yeah, so uh, finally cleaned it out as best as I could. And uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna cable manage these cables first because I always forget to do that. And like the least I do is like just put these little zip ties on the end of it, focus camera, okay? And it just creates a massive jumbled mess in there. So uh, we're going to do it right now, another quick time lapse with our energetic sonic music, let's go! Okay, that took way longer than it actually should have, but we finally got it done, and uh, yeah, it actually looks worse somehow, but it doesn't matter, because it's all for the cable management. I'm gonna regret saying that later, aren't I? But anyway, now we need to move on to the main thing while we did this, which is the storage. So uh, the hard drive is gonna go in the bottom because there's a one terabyte hard drive at the top. And then this M.2 is probably gonna go in the top slot. That is PTIE Gen 4 as well, but that's pretty real. I'm not really paying 200 quid for Gen 4 one terabyte slot, am I? But whatever, anyway, we just need to get on with that. So, we're doing a lot of time lapses now, but like, you know, I'm trying to keep this video short because it's going to be quite long. So, uh, yeah. Also, the thing is dusty as frick. It's going to take so long to clean. What the fuck? Okay, after a while, we finally got those two SSDs solidly in place and the two one terabyte hard drives in there, all connected up by SATA data cables right there, very nice. And uh, now it's time to do the M.2, so let's get into it. Okay, so uh, time to open it with a flathead screwdriver because I don't have a knife on me. Clean cut, that was not clean, I thought, what the heck. <laughs> that doesn't work like that, oh my god, I'm the worst at unboxing in the world. What, how's, how's this, what? How's this open? I'm not missing but, come on. Nice. Okay, so we got a little manual thing here with a little blue sticker on the end. That's very neat. I'm so bad at with the camera works right now. Okay, here is the SSD on my sweaty hands. I probably should have wiped my hands first. Okay, it is here and it looks very nice. So now, 
me put in the computer. Okay, so we need to get it in there somehow. And I don't know how I'm going to do this one hand, but you know what? I'm a beast, so I'm going to get it done. I'm not really that much of a beast, but I did get it done. Uh, hello, editing Sazu here. Uh, yeah, so I did get the M.2 in, but the issue was that I didn't have my motherboard box here, and I still don't. Uh, that's going to be something I'm going to talk about in another video, the next video actually. But anyway, I didn't have the little screw to keep it down, so I literally just put it in and hope that the little I.O. cover here, this little guy, would keep it down. I mean, Linus Tech Tips did do it and does do it in a lot of his videos. But then again, they do take apart their computers like 10 seconds after they finish recording. So, uh, but anyway, I haven't had any issues with this so far. It's really good, but more on that later. Anyway, we'll just carry on with the video. Okay, so we finally got the M.2 in and I didn't really record it because an electrician came to my house uh, because I shot out the outlet, wait, what? Anyway, I got the M.2 in as you can see, the SSDs, all that, and I'm just getting the fans in and the radiator in and we're slowly closing up the bit. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, I forgot about that, uh, let's get the radiator in. Okay, that was a real pain in the- we finally got a cable management pretty much done, I'm saying pretty much because I'm looking at some stuff right now and it's looking a bit sus if you ask me. Anyway, uh, we need to get the power supply in because, well yeah, it powers our system, what do you mean? Okay, uh, time lapse, let's go. <laughs> okay, now for the most hideous cable management you will ever see, oh my god. And after absolute an hour of putting this thing together and making some final adjustments, it's done. It's here. It's as if nothing ever happened other than my chairs there and the side panels there and a bunch of stuff. But regardless, I think it's ready to be turned on. So turn it on from there. That's on. That's not because the power supply is off. I'm going to make that mistake. RGB. Good sign. Right. Now, as soon as I'm going to start, you're going to hear... An AK-47 just mash the delete key. AK-47 be my finger, but whatever. Ping along gushing sounds, that's from the AIO, because of course I moved it around a lot. It sounds good, a bit of whining, that's probably from the pump. Mash delete. No prompt screen yet. Okay, we got we got post. And we have an issue already. CPU fan speed error, press F1. Fan speed seems good, I think it's because I took it out and all. But whatever, press F1 to then set up. This is good so far. Now, this is what we must do. I completely forgot about this guy. So, this is the Windows installer that I have. It's a high pitch wine, not really sure what it's from. Sounds like it's from the AIO, but I'm sure it should be fine after a few minutes of running, because when you do flip your radiator, ra radiator, yeah, okay, nice. When you do flip your radiator upside down, it can make uh, the AIO do a bit of a whining sound. So, uh, just gonna have to put up with that for a bit. But anyway, now we have to go to the advanced setting, I think it is, or something. Yeah, boot. Okay, boot option one. Turn that into. There's nothing here, I don't know what it is. Oh no, okay. Uh... Of course, a few days younger Zazu is very confused, and that is because I'm in here. <laughs> Basically, what you do is you're supposed to mash F10. And then the prompt screen comes up for the USB or Windows boot device that is. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, I did know that, but I wasn't sure which one to try out first. But anyway, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, yeah. Wait, hang on. Oh, we got into it. Okay, so first of all, the whining is actually the new hard drive I found out. And uh, we got in. If you're having that issue where it just won't load up, you're going to have to put in the USB first. And then mash F10 and then it should come up. Okay, now this is the part that could go wrong. Okay, I don't have a product key. Now Windows 10 Home, okay, yeah, that's normal. I think I have to put the side panel on, by the way, the winding should uh, quiet down a lot. Custom install. Okay, now I don't know what, oh, it's 500 
gigabytes. But sorry for doing this again, but I just had to in order to save like 10 minutes of explaining. Basically, I tried to install Windows, error code came up, I couldn't do it. After crying some more, I looked up a video, and after that, I cried some more, and then found out that I should unplug all of my drives except the one I'm trying to install Windows on. So in that case, it's the M.2, so I pulled out all the plugs for the data drives and all that. Then it worked perfectly fine. I'm going to start doing that from now on. I never used to do that because I never had this issue, but I recommend that for everyone now. If you're installing Windows 10 with well, a fresh install, uh, make sure you unplug all of the unnecessary drives and do it. It'll save you a lot of time and hassle. Anyway, uh, continuing on with the video. Okay, after a not so inconvenient error of unplugging all my drives so that Windows could properly install to my SSD, finally got it working. And oh my, I could not be happier that I'm finally going to get a functional operating system that should be normal. Now I can actually work harder on videos and everything. This could be so good. But, can't take it from me in present day. We're going to have to take it from me I'd say in about two days. So, let's skip to two day me. Well, two day after this, this, this clip me. No, I just missed it. I just checked randomly and we hit a thousand. It's freaking go. It was on like 999 right there, and then we went up to a thousand. We can catch it. Yep. Nice. Uh, thank. Uh, if this is a glitch, L. But I'm pretty sure it isn't this time because I mean it's actually been going up pretty slowly. Not slowly, I say. But we've hit a thousand. Thank you guys so much for a thousand subs. Um, this means so much to me and Super. Oh my day. I did really didn't think it'd take this like this quick. Like uh, one year, actually, that sounds like a long time. But I, you know, the, I can't even English right now. Just, just thanks so much, guys. And if you're wondering how it's not actually two day me, it's like a week later. Uh, a week later, me is doing everything is so good. This loads so fast. Like before, when I used to load up Windows, it, it used to take like about ten seconds. Now it's actually like three seconds to load, including like just press the button, boot time. Uh, and then we're everything. It, it's just so good. M.2 is incredible. I don't understand. I have way more games now. Got Minecraft again. Let's go. So if we start the gaming channel soon, you know, Minecraft is back. Uh, I still got controls as well. Very nice. Broccoli, uh, that's just bugging out, bro. Uh, yeah, I accidentally uninstalled it. I'm going to put it on my SD. Everything. That's all the but now. Everything's good. Uh, absolutely love it. Brilliant. And, uh, you know, there's actually not much more to this video. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you like this video, subscribe. We have a lot more videos like it's coming in the future. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Alright, bye.